I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Darkest Dungeon. We have a free flagellant here. A seeker. Flagellant. Musical. Wonderful. Oh, it's so good. Uh, natural. Max HP when wearing no trinkets. Interesting. Healing received when wearing no trinkets. Plus three speed when wearing no trinkets. Minus 20% healing. So this has to be offset by this. And that's only if we send him in with no trinkets. Okay, what abilities does he have then? Punish. Uh, bleed of 100% base. Four points a round for three rounds. Debuffs target for bleed resistance. That's pretty good. Rain of Sorrows hits the back two. Bleed of 100%. Uh, three points for three rounds. Debuffs target to reduce bleed resistance. Uses per battle three. Valid below 40% HP. Exsanguinate. It's a 100% base bleed, five points for three rounds. And it heals 34% max HP, minus 25% healing skills, minus 25% healing received, minus three speed. So it heals him, but then debuffs his healing and reduces his speed. Interesting. Reclaim. Heal two points around for two rounds. And then self-bleed three points around for three rounds. Interesting. Valid below 40 hit points. Heal 33% max HP. And then self-heal 34% max HP. Minus 25% healing skills and healing received and reduce speed. Just like this. Endure. Uh, reduces stress by 10. Self increases stress by 10. Buff self plus 1 speed. Then we've got suffer, which clears a marked target, transfers bleed, transfers blight. Self, marked target, minus 20% stress, and plus 6% death blow resistance. Very strange. Very strange, very interesting. He likes to be in the front as well. The front too. So we will throw him in around here. There is power in the blood for those with the fortitude to pay the price. Achievement unlocked. The flesh is willing. And we have a full roster right now. A full barracks, I mean. We can increase uh, the available heroes to four. I'm gonna. For next time. Who needs uh, busts to be increased? These guys. We could do both of these. Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. For some, a tonic against the bloodshed. Percy, you're in terrible condition, my friend. Fitzalan is not much better. You can't. You can only do one thing, can't you? Pray. That's annoying. It's cheaper. But it's annoying. Okay. So Rord is still around. Rinald and Dismas probably ought to be treated. Minus accuracy. Increased damage. We'll see. We'll see. What are we looking to do, though? We've been in the wield once. Uh, the farmstead is so difficult. I have a tough time convincing myself that we could go there. The courtyard, we will need blood soon. The ruins is uh, too high level for us to go in. The cove, I really hate the cove. Life Crystal gives us more uh, health. 
This gives us much better rewards than these others. In fact, it's a level one. Oh, it's a medium. That's why. Hellion only. We still don't have a Hellion, and we already have a Hellion trinket, don't we? Leper, Houndmaster, Crusader. Two Grave Robbers. Yeah. Let's get these and sorted. Complete 100% of room battles. We could probably do this. We could probably do this. I'm going to take a look and see if I can find a uh, special party that includes either one of these two. And of course any of the other characters that we have. I'd like to take an antiquarian along. We have a good amount of gold, but more is better. So I will be right back. Okay, here we go. For all that is good. These are, uh... These party combos are completely cosmetic, I've read. Uh, they don't mean anything. So, um... Putting these together to take along is... In a way, it's pointless. Uh, but like I said before, it helps me to learn... Different combinations. Okay, so Blackjack we won't be able to use in this position. Cry Havoc reduces ch uh, stress. It's only a 66% chance. I didn't realize that. I was under the impression it always reduces stress. It's not much at this level, though, so I don't think we'll go with that. I think uh, Lick Wounds might be the one, because nobody has a bonus to marked enemies. So all of those are fine. He's got the Battle Heal as well. So if we get Lick Wounds, we're going to be very survivable. Uh, this might even be a combination that we could take to um, to the farmstead at some time in the future. So let's go with that, and let's be sure to equip it. Uh, unique quirk. Some quirks are unique, meaning only one hero per roster can have them at a time. Unique quirks are shown by the special symbol to the left of the name. If you don't want that hero to have the unique quirk, you can remove it in the sanitarium, like other quirks. This can be useful if you're trying to get that quirk to develop on a more suitable hero. Oh, he's a Twilight Dreamer, then. Ignores stealth. One hero per roster. I like that. That suits him, because uh, he's a Hound Master. The Hound should be able to sniff out stealth units. So this is pleasing to me. Okay, we have the... Uh, Crusader. This gives him protection, move resistance, reduce stress, but also reduce speed. I think we'll take it. We'll throw on the speed zone to offset. Bleed skill chance. He does cause bleeding quite a bit. Bleed, bleed, heal, endure. Uh, wrong button. So I think the bleed stone could go on to him pretty easily. An increase to dodge. An increase to a move skill. An increase to protection with reduced speed. Oh no, we have to leave this uh, off. He needs no uh, trinkets, I just realized. Don't worry. Increase to range skills. Increase stress skills while camping. Increase to healing. Reduce stun and debuff resistances. I think this is all going to be fine. Ranged skills. This is these are both ranged skills, so that's perfect. Uh, the increased bleed skill will be great. She could do with some protection, even though it reduces speed, and a dodge, even though it reduces the move resistance. This should be fine. Okay, I have... I really need to try to remember... No, 
We're not going to the farmstead. We're going to the warrant. I was wondering where the food was. Do we just take all the food? I think this is fine. A stack of torches as well. A couple shovels, a couple keys. In the warrens. Medicinal herbs are a pretty big deal. And holy water as well. Are important. Let's take a couple of bandages because we will be using bleeding abilities and so forth. This sh should all be fine. We don't need to take blood because we aren't cursed right now, thank goodness. Uh, we don't know how long that's going to last, though. Let's see how we do. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. He's brand new. How does he start out with 20 stress, I wonder? This increases his stress, reduces someone else's stress, I see. So the first and only thing that we can really do here is bleed people. Let's get it started. He resisted both at 20% and 15%. So we're already having bad luck here. Okay, a three, but with bleeding. Okay, a one, but with bleeding. So now he's up to two per round for three rounds. Uh, we're okay on health right now. Dazzling light. Uh, it wouldn't bother me a bit to get this guy stunned. We don't need to heal ourselves right now. So if this could work. He didn't dodge, so that's As promising. Gains purchase, spirits are lifted. What does he have at 10% resistance? Clear. Just shut up. Put this uh, subtitle away. Yeah, 10% resistance. 100% base. So he, she had a 90% chance to stun him and failed. The game hates me. There we go. Let's do an accusation and hit both of them. A miss. What I just say? The game hates me. Okay, that's some serious bleeding though. A rend. Okay. He doesn't mind. Don't worry. A vomit. Okay. Don't get diseased, please. Thank you. Uh, another one? We need to use guard dog on her in the future. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Let's do a hound's rush on him. It worked. And he's bleeding, so he's dead on his turn. Perfect. A heal up here will be fine to offset the bleed. Okay, he's gonna move forward there. He's the one that's bleeding, right? So he's dead on his turn. We may as well uh, do our best to murder this guy. Because now they're both dead. Okay. Uh, yep. Fine. Okay. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. He's still got to take two uh, damage there. This is fine. I guess we could use one of these since we have so many. And what is our first a cask? I believe this is food. I'm not even going to look. Okay. Purified. We got a buff. Okay. Plus 30% damage until camp. So we don't camp on short runs, clearly. Oh, got a trap there. Two damage. Mind That's that not bad. Missteps are the exception and not the rule. No extra scouting, unfortunately. Let's continue. Another trap. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Pile of bones. I believe these are bandages. I'm almost absolutely certain. And if I had played bandages, I would have been wrong. Let's go here. Okay. Just treasures. I wasn't sure what it would do. Uh, I didn't read that closely, so... Okay, he's about to be at below 50% health. is struck. A blazing star is born. Ooh. What are these? 
A pile of scrolls. I feel like we need to burn these. I did see what these do as well, and so I need to find the right person to use them on. She's got three negative quirks. He's got three. Thin-blooded. Known cheat. Known cheat isn't that bad. He's only got one, but it's locked. So actually... Nope. I actually wanted him. He's got the bad healer. So, to be honest, I feel like he ought to do it here. Uh, yeah, it was a torch. Shocker quirk removed. So now he has no negative uh, quirks right now. Oh, he's also got natural? Hmm. So that one must be uh, unique to the DLC, because I've never seen it before in my regular playthrough. Okay, here we go. Surprised him? Wonderful. I love surprising these guys. Okay. 40% HP is what we need to be at before we can use those. Good bleeding there. Okay. Uh, stun resistance is 50%. There's no chance. Let's just judge them then. Let's go ahead and stack on this guy. He's down to 2 health, so he's dead. Uh, Hound's Rush on this guy. Bleeding of one. So a smitty smite finishes him off. Too bad it wasn't a critical, but this still brings him up to the front. Okay, he's attacking him. Perfect. Oh, it did blight him, though. Three damage total. Oh, at this stage of the game, it, uh, it makes me nervous. Avoiding my use of healing abilities. Let's try this. Okay, that's a huge heal. Oh, I was hoping you would attack him again. Come on, please resist. Nope. Blooded. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. So two damage and three damage isn't bad for these folks. They should be able to handle it. We're not lingering, we're moving. Wow. I'm amazed at the lack of um the lack of enemies. He's got the least stress. Okay. Unremarkable. And these were holy waters. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Uh twenty percent move resistance. He's already got two trinkets. She's already got two trinkets. Plus four dodge. Reduce move resistance. Okay. These are all fine. Uh, we're going to torch up before we go into the room. In radiance, may Hopefully we, we can scout out this hallway. Nothing. Once again, I failed to check my uh, scouting chance before Such we came in here. Are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. It's likely, too, that I should have just cleared this hallway, because now I'm going to be tempted to backtrack all the way through. Here we go. Okay, surprised. Good. I love it. Let's start bleeding these fools. He's got protection. Bleed resistance is uh, 20 for him, so we get a better chance. Let's go with... Um, can we stun this guy, please? Thank you. Thank you for not allowing him to resist on a 10% chance. Let's guard her. Since this is a full formation here. What is this again? Reduced damage? I don't even know why I would use this unless they were both at really low health. 25. Protection. 15. We've got 6 to 12 here. So either way, this is more likely to be a kill. It was. Okay. We've got zero, but we have stress there. I thought that did a uh, disease. Thankfully, it doesn't. Ouch. So our increased dodge did not help us there. Let's continue to bleed this guy. Is he dead on his turn? No, not quite. Okay, debilitating drums. 
This is gonna mark him and debuffs for dodge, okay? Uh, let's try a Hound's Rush. Five to nine. Five to nine. Is it a one point of damage for bleeding? Increased damage versus beast as well. Let's go for him. It was only a six. Okay, vomiting, that's fine. Oh yeah, there we go. So he is diseased now. Uh, a heal here, since he did help guard us for a moment. He's got one more round. Okay, he's dead. The slow death That'll move them forward. Unforeseen. He's within range of the melee now. Vomiting, please resist the disease. I don't mind if you're blighted. Okay, let's bleed him. 20% resistance, we got him. Oh, he's so stressed. Nice dodge all across the board. That was beautiful. It's exactly what I like to see. Let's try to do a stun here. Get 10% resistance. We got him. He's only got one to go. A Hound's Rush. We've killed him. With a critical as well, so it's moved them all forward. And a smite. Finish him off. Destroy them all. Surprisingly enough, not only does this not require anything, it actually is good for us, no matter what. Damage accuracy and crit until camp. I didn't realize that. I'm pretty sure I've used uh, that with a Hellion, and I thought the Hellion itself being a barbaric character is why uh, it worked out for her. But no. Okay, we do have bandages, thankfully. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Ouch. Good dodge, though. Excellent work. Oh, no. These guys? We have surprised them. That's promising. I don't trust it, though. Okay, four damage. Got her. A stun would be fantastic. They have 150% resistance, though. Let's go with a heal right here. A four. It's not bad. I will accept it. Is Hound's Harry worth it? It's only one point of bleeding, and it's only going to hurt them by one. A three to six. We've got him bleeding as well, so let's smite him. Arguably, I could have used the judgment thing. But we should be okay here. Ugh, please don't get cursed. Of course. Of course. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Okay, they're after the Houndmaster for whatever reason. Prestidigitation did nothing to her. I know what the name of it actually is. I'm just, uh, being annoying. Okay, he's dead. Let's lick our wounds. bleed him. I was hoping for a little bit better hit. Ish. Prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. Oh. Six health left. Uh, I'm always tempted to heal him, but I need his health to drop, actually. Let's miss him. That seems like a good move. Okay, I don't think they can get the curse from the pre-digestion. -di I don't think that's a possibility. Okay, now they're both dead. Uh, I guess we'll guard. We don't really need healing. I guess I could have healed. It would have been fine. Um, let's heal up here since he needs it. If we had that anti-venom, it would be fine. Let's heal her as a favor for healing him. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay. Sapphires. I always want to say that these are diamonds because they just look like what uh, I've seen diamonds depicted as. I didn't uh, click it in time. Oh, so much disease potential here. It's really sad. I should have done this on him, uh, since he hasn't gone this round. 
a dizzying blow to body and brain. Okay, they're really going after my tank here. Debuff of dodge, yeah. Ouch. Okay. Uh, is it is it right to do this? I don't think we can reach him with dazzling light. So let's heal. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Okay, so like in this instance, it's a 5 to 10, so we're guaranteed to kill him if we hit him. And we've done damage to both of them. A Hound's Rush back here would be phenomenal if it hits. Excellent. Even better that it bleeds. Okay, getting stressed out. And cursed. These are all bad things. Nice. Except the corpses are still here. This is a shame. We could finish him off, maybe? Nice. We did. A big stun here would be phenomenal. 50% resistance, though. It worked. I am surprised. Corpses. It's a chance. Okay, we got them both, as a matter of fact. Of course, he goes first with a speed of zero. Oh, no, that's the corpse. He has a speed of zero. He has a speed of four. Let's lick our own wounds. Well struck. Oh, I thought the... The, the dog was drooling, and I had never seen that before, but it's his hand. Okay, we do have the one more hallway to explore. Hopefully we don't reawaken enemies. Okay. Yeah, all of this is done. All of our dots are done. Do we get money for torches? say whether we do or not. Oh, of course these guys. Of course these guys. Can you just go away, please? Can you not exist, please? I would love it if you didn't exist. Okay, so he's dead on his turn. Let's lick our wounds. Let's go after this guy. He's down to six. And smite this guy so that he's dead. Ah, his corpse remains. That's a huge problem. Nice dodge. Okay, they're bringing themselves to my blade. And he's dead. Let's check out what madness we can perform. So we can heal others with that. I think we go for this first. Okay, he is bleeding. Hound's Rush. I'll send back here. Five health still. Seven for the other one. A smite, perfect. Annihilated. Yes, he was. It wasn't a critical though, so we don't get the full effect. Can we do enough damage? We can. So that he's dead. Lucky. We got very lucky there. This expedition at least promises success. Yeah, we do. We get five gold each for these. Which isn't really worth it. Oh, we don't get any for the dog treats, which I always fail to use. I don't know what there's something right here. Oh, it's a it's a wine cask. Is anybody bleeding? No. Get rid of that. Those are worth 20 each. 15 each. Let's get the 100 gold then. Uh, I could I could have gotten rid of the, the light, torch the instead. Of that would have been ideal. Moonshine barrel. Okay. I forgot it was a buff. I thought it was uh, food. Oh, and a box. Heirlooms. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Perfect. Okay. 
Uh, and that's technically 100% explored. All right. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. Extra 3,000. Achievement unlocked. What strange bedfellows? I have no idea what that means. I'll have to check. Okay. 12, 2, 1. 9,000. I think that's plus 3,000, so 12,000 gold. Uh, 15 crests overall. And this uh, Virtue Chalice for the Vestal. Okay. Level ups. This is wonderful. What Strange Bedfellows is uh, contracting the Crimson Curse uh, via Contagion. So, Herbert, thank you for the achieve. I'm sorry for your condition, though. If you want to catch the next episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.